In this video, I will derive the elastic potential energy equation. Elastic potential energy is energy stored in an object that can be stretched or compressed, things like springs and elastic bands. Background knowledge that you need to be able to do this derivation include the fact that work done can be calculated from the area under a force distance curve, and secondly, that work is equal to delta E. That is, when work is done on a system, it either increases the energy if it's positive work, or it decreases the energy if it's negative work. The derivation of the elastic potential energy equation starts with Hooke's law. So Hooke's law applies to things like springs and elastic bands, and it says that the dependence of the force versus the amount, let's say a spring, is compressed or stretched is a linear relationship, a direct proportionality like that. So F is proportional to X, or as an equation, F is equal to KX, where K is the spring constant. Okay, we'll need that. Next, if you were to stretch or compress a spring, let's say we're compressing a spring for argument's sake, from zero compression, so it's at its equilibrium position, all the way to say that much compressed, and we call the distance that it's been compressed x. Then the work done to stretch or compress a spring from zero meters, so at its equilibrium or rest position, to x meters is going to be equal to the area under the xf graph. So that would be the area from here to here So that much area of the graph. Okay, and that area is a triangle, so the area would be a half the base times the height, where the base is the x that we've labeled on the diagram, and the height is f, which is equal to kx by Hooke's law. So the work done to stretch or compress the spring is equal to 1 half kx squared. Now the last step here is based on the work done is equal to the change in energy. The work that done to stretch or compress the spring is stored in the spring now as elastic potential energy.
So work done is now the elastic potential energy in the spring. Therefore, EE, like work, is equal to a half K X squared. And that is the goal we had with this derivation. Just some fine points then. If your units are going to work out your X, the amount of compression or stretch has to be in meters. K, your spring constant, is in newtons per meter. And then your energy, as always, will be in joules. And that's it.